اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Chat GPT Now there has been an ongoing debate as to whether one should use it for research purposes or not. Now I've got a different take on it. Now my take is that one should learn research first and then use it as let's say an assistant something that can assist you in your work. Misuse or to a certain extent using it for your own write up will obviously damage your intellect now what will happen is if you use these tools like chat gpt or any other tool what will happen is you will not learn how to write what to write when to write and where to write you might have gone through some recommendations uh, videos or there has been uh, some announcements by different journals that they use or they allow the use of ai tools now in this session let's say we briefly discuss how one can use chat gpt for their literature review or to extract information now this is the open version and the the free version the upgrade obviously is much more powerful so you might encounter some issues when you are using the free version Now let's say I'm writing my literature review on a servant leadership and I want to find out how servant leadership has been defined in literature so can chat gpt give me multiple definitions now what happens is let's say when I'm writing my literature review on individual variables if I've got a model let's say servant leadership and life satisfaction so first we will discuss each variable separately so if I'm writing about servant leadership we first start with the basic definitions of servant leadership and then we write about why it is important then maybe why it is important in a particular context if i am studying in a particular context you can ask these questions from chat gpt but again there is a very strong word of caution if you do not know what to write where to write how to write you the the information that is provided by chat gpt will be useless for you so instead of directly jumping on to these ai tools you should first read as much as possible with regards to your area and then use these tools to extract information if they provide you with the information and you just put it in then obviously maybe it is of no use let me give you an example let's say chat gpt gives me a definition for servant leadership and that definition highlights the multiple traits of servant leadership now the traits that chat gpt has highlighted i'm not measuring those traits in my questionnaire now there is a mismatch between your conceptualization and your measurement but since you do not know what conceptualization and measurement is and how to comp- how they complement each other you are now not using it right so let's say i am interested in finding out the different definitions so what is servant leadership can you provide some definitions now it is providing me some definition by greenleaf ken blanchard james ontray and some other definitions by larry spears as well now what i can do is i can simply copy this stuff but obviously you will have plagiarism as well but the problem is i do not have any references so i will ask chat gpt can you provide me the references for the definitions and here are the references now there is one more important issue sometimes the references are wrong obviously with the free version i have encountered this issue so you have to check these references by going on google scholar maybe copy this whole thing and let's see what the correct reference is so now you are getting these definitions 
and you're getting these references. Now, for example, let's say I'm interested in finding out why servant leadership can be an important leadership style for for modern leaders and let's see what we get so you are asking chat gpt the questions and it is giving you the answers but again my take on this is use it but as an assistant do not solely rely on chat gpt because if you do the problem is you do not know again the same the, the same three phrases that i've used previously if you do not know the information that is being provided where to put it then you are in trouble you might end up putting the information that is required in literature review you might end up putting it in the introduction and you might end up putting the, the information that is required in the introduction in the literature review so use it with caution before you start using it as an assistant for your paper learn how to write research learn how to conduct research learn the different concepts that surround research you should know what is an introduction what is theory what are contributions what is literature review how to structure a literature review how to present your literature review the methodology the analysis and all those things then you can use it more appropriately following this we are going to have some more sessions on how to use chat gpt for your literature review now let me give you another example before we end this session so let me stop generating it again it did not provide any references so you can ask it for references can you identify some measurement scales to measure servant leadership so this is the query that i can write can you identify some measurement scales to measure servant leadership let's say with references press enter so here are different scales that one can use to measure servant leadership go on and search these scales and again see the definition how these scales these papers are conceptualizing servant leadership so this is one way to use chat gpt for your literature review we might have more sessions in future on how to use chat gpt for different sections in research i hope you like this introduction thank you very much